I'm going to try to talk about the uh, the explanation for this problem in the sense of what students I've worked with in the past generally miss if they don't if this method doesn't work. I'll also add a little disclaimer that mathematically the plug-in method doesn't have a lot of validity. I mean it works, but it's not exactly like mathematicians look at it as the end all be all. It pretty much only works on multiple choice tests for one, and you can certainly uh, just factor it out and then solve. For instance. If I have uh, x squared minus 24, I look at the factors of 24, and I see that uh, 1 and 24 are factors, as well as 2 and 12, and 3 and 8. And then I know that since this is uh, a negative, I'm actually going to subtract, and I'm going to look to put the negative in front of the 8, because it's the bigger one, or whatever will give me the 5. And 8 minus 3 is 5, so I would do x minus 8 and x plus 3 and you could check it back because it would be x squared uh, negative 8 plus 3 would give you negative 5 and negative 8 times 3 gives you negative 24 and then you just solve them from there you just like make equations equal to 0 individually and you'd solve so your answer should be 8 and negative 3 which would work here now if you're going to use the plug-in method which is fine. I mean, if it's a multiple choice test, it still works. The biggest thing that I, uh, I've noticed that people miss, or the two biggest things, I should say, is that when I use x, that means I have to use negative 8 twice and make sure check to see if it equals 0, and then I have to use 3 twice in a separate section and make sure it equals 0. I can't plug in negative 8 here and 3 here because then x doesn't have the same value, and using the same variable with different values doesn't make any sense. It's like if you made a code where um, the number 3 represented C. Well, if all of a sudden the number 5 also represented C, then the code's a little wonky. So it's easier if one thing, if it matches one to one. On the other side of it, it's important, especially if there's a negative, to put it into parentheses. So in this case, I'm going to have to put it in parentheses. So let's try negative 8 really fast, even though we know it won't work. So I'd have to put parentheses, negative 8, and then square it, minus 5, parentheses, negative 8, minus. 24. Well, that doesn't work. It gives me 80, and it's supposed to give me 0. So I know this whole problem is wrong. If one of them doesn't work, the other one doesn't work either. So I can get two birds with one stone here. If I use negative 6, I just have to make sure I'm in parentheses. Negative 6, x squared, minus 5 times quantity of negative 6, minus 24. The key is to make sure that you have it in parentheses, and then hit enter, and you get 42. So negative 6 doesn't work, which means this one works. This one doesn't work, and neither does this one. So this has to be the answer, so let's just check to see that it does. Negative 3 squared minus 5 times the quantity negative 3, or times negative 3. Anyway, I don't know why I said the quantity. That's ridiculous. Uh, negative 3 squared minus 5 times negative 3 minus 24, and it does give me 0. So I've got like one little check mark there. For 8, I have to do the same thing. I don't know why I wrote negative 3 there again. I really liked negative 3, so I thought I'd cover that one twice for some reason. Because, you know, long videos are always the best. So I'm plugging in 8 here, 8 squared, minus 5 times x, minus 24, and you can see it's 0. So they're both 0, which makes my final answer j. Now be careful. The reason that I had to use 1 in the answer set to equal 0 and then try a separate problem for this is because both of these are x's. Now if you watch some other of the videos that I've done, sometimes I'll plug in one number for this and one number for this. It's usually when I have an x and a y. So if I'm trying to figure out say this, and I get two answers down here. I plug in the x for the x and the y for the y. But this question only has one variable, so just be careful that you plug in both. Uh, you try plug in one individually into both spots. Check to see if it's zero. If it works, try the other one, and if they both give you the answer you expect, then that's the answer.